Good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Um, it is June 4th, a Saturday, and it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's about nine o'clock here, and we are starting off at River Road, and we're gonna do another gravel ride. A nice, cool start in the morning. It's actually kind of a little chilly <laughs> under the uh, shade here. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. I almost forgot to start the ride again. I actually cut this part out from the clip uh, from the video that was published last week and what happened was I just out of excitement and just a lot of things to remember to bring I forgot to bring my strawberry crumble which I typically have with me on a on a regular training ride it's a delicious snack to have packed with carbs and uh, energy and calories so I uh, forgot that when we got there that's when I remembered luckily I was able to get oatmeal raisin cookies from this restaurant called our daily bread delicious food by the way in Chatham and uh, yeah I was able to bring oatmeal raisin cookies I think it was mentally it was starting to play games with me knowing the fact that I forgot my food so definitely remember if you are doing an event where you're staying overnight or a couple of nights somewhere definitely remember to bring the food that you normally would bring on a typical training ride uh, that way it doesn't put a damper on things to your event so we are doing our first gravel ride that we've done since the farmer's daughter event and what we're doing today is um, another another recon of the route that we're going to be doing for the upcoming Macedonia gravel grinder in July and I'm not sure if this route is exactly the same it's not exactly the same as as the one we're doing for that event um, but we're I think going to cover most of the same ground and we're going to uh, to stop at a, uh, a cafe that that we haven't been to before and uh, so it's looking to be a fun day and uh, it's actually in a couple of days it'll be Joy's birthday very happy birthday to Joy and I really hope that she enjoys this ride because it's kind of her birthday ride and so far it's looking uh, looking good because we're, we finally have some near perfect weather. I mean, I guess you could say it's perfect weather. It, it doesn't get too much better than this. I think it's going to be, well, we'll see what it, what happens later in the day. I think the high is going to be 80, so it could get a little warm. Uh, it's it's um, totally sunny today, um, but it doesn't feel too humid or anything. So it, it should be a nice uh, warm but, but comfortable day and uh yeah it'll be fun to get back uh to get back on the gravel um haven't haven't done a gravel ride in a few weeks and uh we're re really looking forward to it Just... Come on, buddy. Are you right? Are you running? Are you getting exercise? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Poor thing. Oh. 
Oh, and watching this video on, uh, they were talking about like what are time segments. And, uh, you know, it's already what we know them to be kind of like Strava segments and you race for it. Yeah. Um, it was a separate, it was a video not created by the uh, Macedonia travel grinder event people, but it was kind of cool because people said that they would like do the segment and then at the top they all like after the segment is over they regroup and then they ride easy again I think they're like flat segments, climbing segments. And then this woman said that she set her new FTP from it. I'm like, oh, sweet. Yeah, that would be kind of cool way to experience the different types of racing. Because they said it was like, that particular ride that they were doing. Oh, far back. The ride that they were doing was like 120 miles. So people were like, instead of racing 120 miles, you know, you're just racing like 30 miles. I think I'm going to have to take my front wheel to the bike shop. It's definitely out of true. Oh, careful, car up. You go with your right. Or not. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it is. Turtle crossing. Hey. So should we keep going? Or what do you think? Oh. On your left. You don't want to like stop, right? All right. I'm gonna start getting something to eat. Well, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna eat while I'm riding because it's pretty flat around here. No-handed. 
What? Yay, look at you. <laughs> like easily looks like ah! Oh I ran over a fucking squirrel I hope it survived. I don't know where it went. Stupid thing. Oh. Stupid squirrel. Jesus. I think we weren't going that fast. Why does it decide to run and into the road? Like of all the times, this road is quiet. It's like it hears noise and it decides to run across the road. Stupid thing. It ran off into the woods to the left, so... I, I'm gu guessing it's still alive. It's probably injured. So we're about uh, 22 miles into our ride with 2,100 feet of climbing. So um, we're stopped here. Uh, I had to uh, replace the battery here on the, on the camera. And I wanted to point out something that I had always wanted to do but did not get a chance to do it in the past. And that is putting three bottles on, my, uh, on the bike here. The problem with the third bottle is that I have a little bit of room there uh, for the t between the tires and the cap of my water bottle. So going downhill, I notice that I hear a little squeaking sound, and so that is because it's rubbing up against the the cap of my water bottle, and you can see actually a little bit of that uh, rubbed off over here but what I think I'm gonna do is there is this um, accessory that I could add on which is made by wolf tooth and it will allow you to adjust uh, the location of the bottle cage and so what I think I'm gonna do is gonna get the wolf tooth so that I can uh, push that bottle down further a little bit down closer to like the bottom bracket over here um, and hopefully that will uh, fix this problem where that re that front tire is hitting up against the cap the water bottle cap other than that um, it doesn't seem to so it's only on the downhills uh, probably because there's a little flex of the frame when I'm going over rocks and everything so um, when we're just doing a regular like a flat ride or climbing I don't hear it but it's definitely noticeable when we're going fast down here downhill and it's like you know we're kind of doing um, we're going over rocks and, and stuff Yeah, I'll grab something here. Are, are you ready to eat? Or... Oh, okay. I'll just... I'll have one right now.
beautiful house here. This kind of reminds me of Chatham. Up and down. We're going to get some downhill and then an uphill that's about three quarters of a mile long. more than the other ones. I don't, I mean, it is. It's washboardy. It's a lot more bumpy than the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's, wa it's washboardy. It's not hot. Is this it? Oh, wait, no. Oops. Well, you know what? It's flat right now, so I think I want to eat. Okay, maybe I'll grab one more here too. Yeah. It's a good thing that I have the elevation profile, because otherwise, It's helpful to have the. Do you have the elevation profile? Or you haven't put it. You don't put it on. I have it on another screen. I say I wanted to talk a little bit about yeah. So the experience of the farmer's daughter gravel grinder, and uh, I'd already talked about how I forgot my bottle, my um, my food, my nutrition for the ride at home, and uh, the second thing that I learned was to do as minimal stops as possible. Um, we are trying to do that now on our training ride is stopping less and sometimes we like to stop because like for one we have to replace the battery, uh, get a like eat and um, and just uh, go to the bathroom. Uh, so what we're doing is eating on the go and I actually tried that today and uh, I was able to finish my my strawberry crumb bar and uh yeah digest a little bit and keep going oh i think i remember this location i think we've ridden here before when we did our first century ride together i think this might be the place Yeah, I remember. <clears throat> yeah, I think this was it. She looks a left right here. I'm not seeing that. Oh, that's because the cafe is over here? Oh, okay.
guys. We just got done with our cafe stop at a place called J.P. Giffords in um, Sharon, Connecticut. Uh, nice little cafe. Got shared a nice coffee and got a few treats. Um, they were uh, they were yummy, and uh, they we're both feeling good about halfway into the ride. Uh, 30, almost 32 miles in, and um, feeling um, feeling pretty good. Joy said her legs were feeling good, and it's still a beautiful day. So, looking forward to the rest of this ride. We've uh, we've done some familiar roads, some new roads. Uh, right now, we're in a, a new spot that um, that we've never rode through, or at least I don't remember it. Um, and we, we have some new roads coming up. So eventually we're gonna loop back around to, um, as we as we go back to, to the car, we'll probably be hitting the same roads that, that we're used to, but um, it's nice to uh, nice to explore a little bit and, and, uh, and test out some new roads, especially gravel roads. Really having uh, a fun time with all these gravel rides that we're doing. The, the thing I like the most about it is that the roads are quiet and uh, you know so we can talk to each other easier it's just more relaxed and um, fortunately uh, with all with the leaves now up on all the trees we have quite a bit of shade on most of these gravel gravel roads um, so although it's a very sunny day we're not feeling hot because you know, we're, we're usually in the shade. All right, well, um, going to get going pretty soon, and we'll uh, give you an update, another update as we go along. This looks familiar. Calkinstown? I think we've ridden through this too. On our century ride, maybe. Yeah. It's like a uh, one and a quarter mile long climb. Okay. Yeah. It like a, it's a climb, and then it it plateaus and then it pitches up again plateaus this is a beautiful day this is a good ride i'm having fun you having fun it's, it's about about time we had a day like this Jewett Hill, yeah. I have the QOM on this because I'm the only one who uh, who rode who rode this segment. <laughs> Someone created it, and I got the QOM. I might PR it. A little over half a mile left. You probably will PR it, even though you're not, you're not going hard. Because it's been like two years since we, at least maybe more than that, since we, uh, so maybe two years 
since we did this. Yeah, but maybe not quite. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's another snapping turtle. <laughs> Sorry if I'm going a little slow, not feeling great, kind of busy. No, I don't know because sometimes it makes me more busy. No, I just, I might just have too much food in my stomach. Uh, you, know, you can keep going like what, you know, normal pace. Uh, I'm just taking it easy on the downhills because I don't have like full concentration right now. I just gotta, I think it was, I think, I think it was, I think, I think the coffee might have made me like, sometimes it makes me jittery. I'll give it a, a little bit of time to pass. If it doesn't pass, I'll take the medicine, but the medicine is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it makes me feel better and sometimes I actually feel a little more dizzy. I guess it kind of depends on what the cause of my dizziness was in the first place. Okay. I mean, you know, go go however you normally would. I just might be a little slow. So I think that old Sharon Road is the actual uh, route. It runs parallel. I don't know if you, if you see it in your map, you see a road 
yeah. That's the old Sharon Road. That's the dirt road. I think that's the one that we're supposed to have taken, but it's all right. This is actually not bad. Doing a climb on a nice, well-paved road is, and it's gradual, is not bad. Yeah. You have a cobweb stuck on your helmet and it looks like a streamer. Whee! Honey, it's like a parade. Car back. snake there's a snake right there uh, I think I'm gonna take my sunglasses off it got a little cloudy yeah freaking huge Is all she wrote we are done for this ride and uh, yeah glad that we got that done and over with it turned out to be about 68.6 miles with a little over 6100 feet of climbing we did a couple of new uh, gravel roads today and yeah they were a lot of fun there was that one section that's a steep downhill that is, I think they call that a class four road, which is typically unmaintained. 
But um, other than that, yeah, it was a, a good ride and pretty pleased with um, how the day turned out. It's still beautiful and sunny. It wasn't too hot and I felt like I was, I felt really good today. And I think it was just the combination of just being sunny and not as humid as in the past couple of weeks that it has been. And so it really did make a difference in, I thought, like my performance. Yeah, that was another another fun gravel ride. Gravel is definitely fun. Uh, there was this. Uh, there were a couple of steep downhills that we did. The, the sec the first one was was fine. We've done it before. <clears throat> the second one was um, a little sketchy for me. It was really bumpy, and there were a few tight turns, um, and so that kind of tested my my handling skills, which I don't have. I didn't get that downhill because I ran out of battery. Oh, well, there wasn't much to see. I mean, it's not like uh, I was going super slow on it. I'm just glad that I made it, you know, made it down there without crashing. But um, yeah, I made it, made it, it was a successful ride. Um, uh, I, I did start feeling about halfway into the ride. I was, wasn't feeling too great. Um, shortly after we left the the cafe um you know i don't know if it was it, you know the it is a little bit hot I, I was starting to feel a little a little hot in the sun um it could have just been uh i did a lot of training this week so it could have just been accumulated fatigue starting to catch up to me um but yeah for whatever reason i had like kind of a lull in the, <clears throat> the middle of the ride but got got a second wind and was able to, to finish it normally so um joy did a great job of um picking up the slack when I was, you know, not, not feeling great. She was doing some good pulls and, you know, we were, we ended up with a pretty decent average speed because of that. I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to enjoy your ride. Bye-bye.